Good morning. Yesterday we launched our journey through the Amidah, the series of blessings at the heart of our service. I noted that the first three of the blessings in this prayer are focused on praise. Today we'll start with the first of those blessings, Avot v'imahot, our fathers and our mothers, <clears throat> which connects us with our ancestors. Traditionally, in the standard Orthodox wording, uh, the prayer praises the God of our patriarchs, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. But pretty much all non-Orthodox pseudorim now add our matriarchs, Sarah, Rebecca, Rachel, and Leah, whose voices were unheard or ignored by many in our community for far too long. So a classic Midrash asks about the wording of the opening of the prayer. Why do we pray, Elohei Avraham, Elohei Yitzchak, Elohei Yahakov, God of Abraham, God of Isaac, God of Jacob? Why not, the commentary asks, why not just Elohei Avraham, Yitzchak, Yaakov, God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob? Why this repetition, God of, God of, God of? And we add the matriarchs, we add God of Sarah, God of Rebecca, God of Rachel, God of Leah as opposed to God of Sarah, Rebecca, Rachel, and Leah. And the Midrash answers that each patriarch experienced God in his own particular way. We'll add the same for the matriarchs, for us. Among other things, the rabbis note, Abraham experiences the divine primarily in the morning. And so he is considered the founder of this morning shacharit service. Isaac experiences God in kind of the sunset time toward evening. And so he is the founder traditionally uh, of the Mincha prayer. And Jacob experienced God uh, in dreams at night, dreams of the ladder from heaven to earth, dreams of wrestling with the angel at night, uh, kind of fever dream, that one. Uh, so he is considered the founder of the Mariv, of the evening service. So each experiences God in a different time, and each also has his own personality and therefore his own way of relating to, of being in relationship with the Holy One. So all the more so when we add our matriarchs, who also had their own unique relationships with and experiences of the divine. Sarah and Rebecca and Rachel and Leah did not have the same encounters with God as their husbands, nor did they have the same encounters one with the other. They each forged their own paths. So in chanting Avot v'imahot, we recognize that the God of our ancestors meant different things to each one of those ancestors. And so too will mean different things and offer different experiences to each one of us. There's an old story about a, a rabbi who is the son and the grandson of rabbis. You can see why I relate to this story given my own family history. So one day an older congregant asks this youngest generation of rabbis, why do you do everything so differently from your father? Uh, I like the way your father did it. Your divergence from his path dishonors his memory. Uh, to the contrary, the rabbi replied, I share the same essential path, the same essential character as my father, which is to say, just as he founded his own path and did not follow blindly in the footsteps of his father, my grandfather, so I follow his example and forge my own path too. So let's take a moment and reflect on how we experience God differently in our lives. How do we experience the Holy One uniquely, 
differently from family members, from friends, maybe even differently from how we experience the divine ourselves at different times in our lives. Those different experiences, those different encounters, each shaped through a different lens of personality and time and place is what makes the Holy One of Israel a living God. Shema Yisrael Adonai Eloheinu Adonai Echad Boker Tov, wishing you uh, a good day, be strong, uh, do good work in the world that so dearly needs it. Um, remember, we've got a Zoom B'nai Mitzvah for uh, Lizzie and Jacob Wald on Saturday. Hope you will join us, uh, see your e-blast uh, for other important things coming up.